message. Oh, I'm a PA. I'm a PA. Alexander hears the sound of voices coming from nearby. Alexander peers through the... Captain, I've been hearing rumors from the guards who've been watching the princess. They say lately she's been pounding on her door and begging to be let out. Ain't none of my business, sir, but news like that is upsetting the other dogs. Ain't no guard in the castle who would willingly keep the princess anywhere she don't want to be. Mm, Hasrid claims that a foreign intruder is here to assassinate her. That's why she's got to be kept under lock and key right up until the wedding. Call me an old dog that can't learn new tricks, but I say the princess should be the one given the orders. Alhazred has been in charge for months, what with the king's death and Kasima's mourning. Tonight, the wedding will seal it, and there's nothing we can do about it. Like him or not, he's our liege. Need I remind you of your oath to the crown? Aye, we've an oath. For the sake of the princess, we'll not be forgetting it. He'd just better treat her well. Speaking of the wazir, what do you reckon he's keeping in that magical room of his? It's not a magic room. It's just the door he's enchanted somehow. I say he's still got the royal treasury in there, along with whatever else he's so eager to protect. Not even the court treasurer is allowed in there anymore. I heard him in the hall the other day. He was speaking of that door. Black magic is what I say. I heard him say, Ali. But then Bay came up and started yapping at me. Enough! It is not our place to question the practices of our liege, no matter how strange. The wedding will be starting soon. Report to the throne room when you hear the music start. Oh, so you have to say stuff to the door. He was speaking to that door. Black magic. It was a say. I heard him say, Ali. But then Bay came up and started yapping at me. So, Ali. Upstairs. Phew. Alexander peers through the chinks in the wall, <laughs> trying to locate the source of the crying sounds. Alexander's palms begin to sweat and his heart to race. It's Cosima. He's found her. Psst. Princess Cosima. What? Who's there? It is I, Alexander. I'm here, behind this wall. My, how suave that sounds. Huh. Alexander? It really is you! Oh my god. Oh, I graphics. knew you were close by, but how did you get inside the castle walls? It's a long story and not important now. You did get my ring. Oh, yes. It has brought me such comfort, Alexander, to know you were close by and had not forgotten. But you shouldn't be here. You're only endangering yourself. I don't care about the danger. I would brave anything to learn. What is it? Alhazred, do you want to wed him, Kasima? Oh, please believe me when I say that I never agreed to marry that man. Even when my father trusted Abdul absolutely, I never liked him. But with mother and father gone, I'm afraid there's no stopping him. If you do not wish to marry him, Kasima, you shall not. I promise you. Only come with me now, and we shall escape. How? I cannot fit through this wall. Besides... Do you think I could leave my kingdom, my people, in Abdul's hands? But Abdul would tear the castle apart if I were to disappear from my room. You shall have to do what you can to delay his plans from your end. I can't just leave you here. Alexander, do not despair for me. I have been safe in this room for nearly six months now. Abdul can be in no hurry, whatever he plans. After all, I'm to be his bride, am I not? I have been planning too, you see. I believe I can escape. If I can only get a chance to lay my hands on a weapon, there might be an opportunity in the hustle of the wedding. But I... Shh! Just a moment more. Then you must go. Let us not waste time with words. 
Please, let me just look at you, dear Alexander. Creepy. Here. Here, take this dagger. It's not much, but it might come in handy. Why, it's perfect. This is just the sort of thing I've been looking for. Thank you, Alexander. I'll keep it close and use it if I must. Alexander looks with longing at the fair. Oh no! Someone. The lock on Cosima's door rattled. Alexander, hurry! Step away! Be Alexander hears scuffling and a woman's brief cry from the other side of the. Alexander looks through the. Ch Cosima is gone. A fine rescuer I'm turning out. Yeah, let's go. Alexander look. Is it our father? Dear Shadrach, salutations from the Society of the Black Cloak, etc., etc. My long preparations are about to come to fruition. In a matter of minutes, I will wed the lovely Casima. <laughs> Once I've established my power and my crown, I can stage another accident. The princess has proven infuriatingly stubborn, as you know. She's becoming quite a dangerous little thorn in my side. Is he like writing in a journal? In a way, it is a shame I have to kill her. She is lovely and would be amusing to keep around, but I can't risk her talking treason to one of the guards. So far, I've managed to keep her locked away, but I can't continue that forever. Well, on to it now. I'd send her to you, but as you know, I had no luck in doing so with Mordak. I close in triumph. King Abdul al Hazred. I think it's about time to see if Shamir has taken care of the wench as I asked. It's almost time for the wedding. The wazir's words fill Alexander with blazing anger. That blackguard! That murderous swine! He'll not have his way if I have anything to say about it. Oh well. Wow. Alexander. Oh, the hippo. The wizard's study is. Alexander C. Alexander opens the ebony box and looks inside. I just, it just looks like an hour for Alexander can read the piece of paper without taking it. Inside the ebony box is a piece of paper with the word Zebu printed on it. Ali Zebu. The brush is old and small. The bottle contains only a small amount. Inside. Zebu. The trunk is locked. Alexander oh, inserts the skeleton key in the trunk's lock. Alexander opens the... Alexander picks up the most recent letter and examines it. The letter is addressed to Abdul al-Hazred from the wizard Shadrach. It reads, Greetings to a brother of the Black Cloak. I was sorry to hear of Great Mordak's death, though he was a bit of a ninny at chess. It seems the plans for that little kingdom of yours are coming along. I must congratulate you on your handling of the king and queen. Isolating the island so that no protest could develop was another brilliant stroke. It looks like there's not much left to stand in your way. That fiend! Alexander... Alexander isn't... The books... There's undoubted. There's no uh, Alexander so. sees nothing of it. Alexander steps con Hey, who the um don't just stand there, grab him. <clears throat> no. Woof. <laughs> the wazir will run you through if he doesn't get a chance at the prisoner. Let's put him in the dun I will fury.
You'll stay in here. The guard dog. Oh. Alexander one. I guess I'm supposed to do that. So I can get back down. I don't know. But this. Nope. Now I'm back here. Now I can do that. Since the door on the west wall has no visible knob or handle, Alexander decides to try to open it with his voice. He composes his words carefully. Having chosen the since the Listen, door. I would have you open. Ali Zebu. Uh -oh. It worked. What's in here? Alexander pulls the drapery aside. Alexander hesitates to take the treasures on the table without learning more about them. On the table are four unusual items. On the table is a str That must be the Isle of Wonders singing stone. Didn't the queens think that the beast had stolen it? Mm. Those trunks... On the table is... Hmm. That must be the sacred miniature oak that the druids thought the winged ones stole. On the table... Hmm. Beast said that his coat of arms was stolen by the druids. This must be it. Alexander decides to leave Beast's coat of arms here in the treasure room until it can be returned to its owner. Alexander decides to leave... Alexander... Alexander... Those trunks probably... Those trunks... Alexander... Alexander... On the table. That fleece must belong to the winged ones. And they thought the Isle of Wonder had taken it. As Alexander looks at the objects on the table, he realizes the depth of the wazir's cunning. It must have been the wazir or an accomplice who stole that one thing most precious to each island and then leaked rumors that one of the other islands was responsible. What did the wazir have to gain by causing the islands to hate? The druids say on the table. Alexander Alexander de Alexander decides to leave the singing stone here in the treasure room for safekeeping. Alexander Huh. Alas, Alexander doesn't need Alexander. An intruder. Uh. Alexander. Hey, you. You. Alexander Alexander he Alexander hears the clear sound Alexander hears the guard enter the west hall Alexander Alex Alexander
Alexander steps confidently. Hey, who the... Um... Hello there. Don't just stand there gr uh, No. I, Wolf, you're right. Let's go. I what? think someone... Who would be crazy enough to do that, Hal? I don't know, but if I find out, that traitor will be sorry. Let's... Right, Hal. <coughs> the guard dogs slam the door and lock it. Alexander has a feeling there will be no help from Jello this... The dungeon door is locked. Alexander Alexander unlocks the door and quickly makes his escape. Uh-oh. An intruder! Grab him! Grab him. Uh... I'll bet you're the foreign saboteur, the wazir. He sure fits the description. Right, good. The wazir will have our heads if he finds out that prisoner escaped. How do you suppose he did it, Ralph? Well, Hal, I figure he must have had something on him that he used to open the door. That's why I personally searched him. You did? What'd you find? Only this funny-looking key. He ain't got it no more, though, now does he? <laughs> Good work, Ralph. God. Really? Just as Alexander realizes that he has no possible means of escape, he hears the sound of wedding music playing somewhere in the castle. Confound this dungeon! I'll never be able to stop the wedding now. This noble thing to have means of escape enters far, far better than you can never have thought at all. The winged ones on the table. Alexander hears the guard. Alexander hears the clear sound of. Alexander 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 Captain Saladin has left Alexander Alex Kasima is a fine Alexander Nothing the wizard A fire in a what? The door does not... Alexander... Alexander... There doesn't seem to be anything on the bed except for a lot of silk. A wardrobe sta... Alexander crawls back through... There's no Alexander step. Hey, who the um the I don't write the Alex and Alexander. If they're still there, I'm going to be angry.
Alexander's step. Hey, who the? Uh, don't just stand. Alexander. Alexander. There's no. Alexander has no wish. Those trunks probably contain the kingdom's treasure. Once guarded so well and those tr Alexander 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 There's no Alexander against his somehow. Uh oh, a guard dog. Hey, you! You're not allowed down here. Uh, I, I think. Arr, be quiet. The wizard told us to look out for a saboteur. Alexander watches helplessly as the guards descend upon him. I think someone must have left. Who would? I don't know. Right now, the guard dog. Alexander hears the clear. Alexander. I wonder if I can slip the note through. That. There's no reason. Alexander takes another look through. Captain Saladin has left, and the other two guard dogs are talking too quietly for Alexander to hear them. There's no reason to use that on the wall. There's no there's no reason to there's no there's no there's no re there's no re there's no reason to use that on the wall. There's no there's no re there's no reason. There's no reason to use. Oh my god. Alexander, 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 does, Alex. I was just saying that I'm missing a mission. Alexander, there's nothing under the cushion. Alexander, a few worn leather books. A book like that might have been a big help when Alexander first arrived. The trunk's owner obviously found it interesting too. For the guidebook is dog-eared and stained. The rest of the wazir's letters pro A small glass bottle filled with oily-looking perfume is in one corner of the trunk. Alexander is... Alexander's... Alexander... There's nothing... Alexander... The box is... The bottle contains only... The box... A fire in a small hearth warms the bedroom. What? And burn a perfectly good hand? Ah, to... Ah, to consume all our earthly possessions in flame. Using... Alexander sees no use for that item there. The rug is too, the rug is too heavy to lift. The rug is Alexander's There doesn't seem to be anything on the bed except There doesn't seem there doesn't a canopy A square red patterned rug helps protect bare feet from the cold marble floor. The rug is Alexander the rug is too. 
The rug is... There's nothing... Alexander Alexander's Alexander steps confidently out into the upstairs hallway and sees two guard dogs. Hey, who the Um Hello there. Don't you just stand there grab him, bay. Ugh. I'll bet it's that saboteur fellow the wizard warned us about. I say we run him through right here and now. No. Woof. I will. Well, how? Oh, how? Just as again. Oh my God, I'm stuck. 